How's it going, YouTube? EDC, a knife community. The Roving Ronin here, and welcome to episode 14. Okay, guys, really, really special one here. Uh, this is a full unboxing and overview. Uh, I'm not going to be doing a full review today, but got a package from Coral Springs, Florida, I believe. Any of you guys familiar with uh, the designer who comes out of that part of the country, you might know what this is. We are gonna have a look. So, I hope everybody's having a great week. Uh, I've got some, a couple of really new interesting knives the last couple of days, so there is some great contest com content coming. And guys, while I'm opening this up, just wanna remind you not to miss out on the 3k giveaway that i'm running the as part of uh my instagram page we hit 3,000 followers and i'm going to be making the announcement tomorrow april 2nd at about 7 p.m on instagram it's going to be three prizes a knife an edc hank and a pen and it will be going to a single winner but more details to come, guys. Don't forget to follow me at Bills EDC underscore life. All right, guys. Very familiar feeling I'm getting in my stomach. <laughs> All right. Well, as you can see, this package is a directly from Bureau Engineering. Ooh, I like this patch. Got a couple little patches. This one I'm digging. Loving the red. Ooh, sweet. And of course, the candies. For those of you who follow Vero and get emails from them, I'm sure you know what this is because they just came out. But oh, this is my first time holding it, guys. This is the Vero. Impulse Mini, a Tumble Titanium, and Hand Satin. Oh my goodness. Oh, prototypical, eh? Oh! <laughs> oh, right off the bat. That was absolutely gorgeous. There is nothing. This is my second Vero, guys. Um, my first one is natural titanium, so there's a much different feel, and I was worried the action wouldn't be as light, you know, like a depth of a touch on it. This. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving it. All right. Do I? All right, guys. Let's get some real quick measurements on this. First hand, I just want to do that again because, oh, yeah. Oof. Yeah, it's just about full shot. I mean, once this breaks in, it's not going to be any different than, uh, oops, ah. Not going to be any different than my Axon. Get the old trusty knife break here. Let's just get some of the excess off. And there we are. Move the way they do their backspacers. So, guys, let's get a little uh, spec work done on this. I will be doing a full two week carry review. Um, I'm not sure in case you guys are, are new to the channel, what I do when I get a new knife in is I'll do an overview and review, and then I carry it for two weeks and do a full review on it. After that, this one, if uh, about two videos ago was actually my, uh, my full review on the Vero Accent Frame Lock which I'll tell you what, I mean, I, I went well past the two week mark carrying that. It's just 
how great a knife it was. All right, guys. So, just checking all the paperwork. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys, so let's get a full measurement. It's a beautiful Tonto blade. And she's coming in eight inches on the dot. Let me get a close length here. Close. And she's coming in a little over four and a half, maybe 4.6. The blade length overall, keep in mind, this is the mini. Um, I've never actually seen the full size impulse, but I'm going to guess it's a good size knife because this is coming in probably just under three and a half. Mm -hmm. 3.2? 3.3? Let me see that again. No, that's coming about 3.4. I mean, and the and the Tonto setup on it. Yeah, so I'm gonna say 3.4 overall on the blade length and about 3.35 on the cutting edge. Some really good dimensions, like all heroes for that matter, but uh and what I love about this just being a plain Jane is, you know, obviously I can see the little tweaks and upgrades I'm going to do to it when material becomes available. Absolutely love the way Joseph Vero designs his frame locks. Um, for those of you who were lucky enough to get in on the uh, Synapse Mini drop that happened very recently, about a week ago, those are great. Um, I'm kind of holding out for the mini big brother when the XL comes out, but uh, Vero's work with uh, those bolster locks is really what got me into his knives to begin with. Just, just oh, absolutely love it. So guys, uh, you know, give uh, Vero a follow. Um, they're on Instagram at Vero Engineering. You can go on their website. I don't know the actual availability, I'm pretty sure the Impulse Minis are sold out. Um, I do want to start bringing content that, you know, knives that people can actually acquire. Uh, this one just happened to be a drop, so I, yeah, excuse me, it happened to be a mail call, so I figured I'd do a real quick uh, overview on it. But uh, like I said, guys, don't forget we have a 3K giveaway coming up for the Instagram channel at bills edc underscore life we're going to be giving away a brand new qsp osprey it's got this gorgeous gorgeous like blue and red marble carbon fiber over g10 scales 14 c28n blade which is one of my favorite edc steels not only for performance but it's ease of maintenance there's going to be a mighty hank which I will be revealing tomorrow night, and a pen. And I want to thank uh, those who contributed to this uh, giveaway we had going. Of course, JT's Knife Shop. And you can follow them at JT's Knife Shop or visit their website online at www.jtknives, one word, dot com and Bastion Essentials. At Bastion Essentials, you can go on their website at www.bastion, B-A-S-T-I-O-N, gear.com. And we look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow night on Instagram, taking part in that great giveaway. I will be back to do a two-week review on the Vero Impulse Mini. Don't forget to give uh, Vero Engineering a following. If you are an EDC knife collector and you're not 
familiar with Vero Knives, it is a worthwhile effort to go out and familiarize yourself because these are honestly some of the best EDC knives in the world. So go check them out. Guys, as always, I want to thank you for letting us spend some time with you. Thank you for following me along on this crazy EDC journey. Guys, as always, please be safe. And as always, stay sharp.